Welcome to Rock for Buzz the Podcast. This is Courtney. And I'm Jake. What you been up to, Jacob? Oh, you know, working out and stuff. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> How's that going? Uh, I- I'm moving today, but very slowly. Slowly? I feel like an 80-year-old man. <laughs> so you're like 36 going on 80? I feel that way, yes. Yikes. Yeah. But, no, so like Leah got access to Les Mills? Sure. I don't know. I always think of like Les Mis, yeah. like the musical. That's exactly so. what it sounds like you're trying to say. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it's like this fitness video, you know, routine program. And uh, so she was like, hey, you want to try this with me? And I was like, sure, I'll, I'll go. I'll go for it. Like it's like weightlifting. So it's like strength training, which okay. is like my jam. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it murdered me. Wow. R.I.P. <laughs> <Womp, womp. laughs> You're R. I. P. speaking Jake. from the grave right now. I am. Yeah, hundred percent. I didn't know that uh, that a video could be charged with attempted murder, but clearly oh. I found the one. Yeah, it yeah. sure can be. Yep. So Th- those videos can be ruthless sometimes. So I one hundred percent feel like someone that has gone through boot camp, and yeah. So mad props to all of those that have gone through boot camp. Not just because boot camp is hard, but because today is Veterans Day. You like that? You like that segue? Oh my goodness. <laughs> I feel like they keep getting worse each week. <laughs> that one popped in my head on the way over here. I got it. You just drive. I could just see you driving in your car like, <laughs> yeah, I gotta it say was, it. It was 100% one of those maniacal <laughs> <laughs> chuckles type moments. Oh my goodness. Yes, today is. Today Veterans. is Veterans Day. Well, when this drops, it's Veterans Day. Today is Tuesday. It's like Veterans Day Eve. Sure. At the yeah. time of recording, but the time of listening. Assuming that you're keeping up with our episodes. If you're listening late, it is no longer Veterans Day. <laughs> That's on you. Exactly. The time that this episode drops. Yeah, there's nothing be better to do to celebrate Veterans Day than to listen to our podcast. Correct. And go through workouts that simulate military boot camps. <laughs> yes. So. Anybody who's actually gone through boot camp is probably like giving you a severe side eye right now. Oh, they're yeah, they're there is they're probably looking at the back of their own skull from yes. the eye rolls that's going on right now. Absolutely. I'm okay with that. Like <laughs> Yeah, so, so yeah. today's Veterans Day and uh we have some nifty places around town that you can go to to celebrate and there's also some really cool um organizations here in town that help out veterans so the first two places that i came up with to like go and experience of course are midway village our history museum and also veterans memorial hall there is a hall there is that is a memorial yeah. of, of veterans and you've spent a little bit of time there shooting some videos and whatnot oh so. yeah i've done several videos with yeah. scott so what can uh, people expect shameless when they plug go of the to archives the... here yes um go check out those videos no it's just a really cool building mm-hmm. um it was uh, president theodore you know, Teddy Roosevelt Ooh. came through Rockford and did the ribbon cutting uh, when it first opened way back when Teddy Roosevelt was president. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, it has this historic theater, which is really gorgeous. And then they have uh, exhibits from all the different major tours of combat. Um, they nice. have a bunch of history in terms of Camp Grant. Mm-hmm. And so they have photographs and maps. Because that's around here. Artifacts. And yeah, where... Uh, Oh, man, we're... No. Churchill Grove. Okay. I kept thinking Hate Village, and I'm like, I know that that's wrong. (laughs) Where Churchill Grove neighborhood is right now used to be a military base. Really? Yeah. Interesting. Yep. I wonder how many people who listen to this knew that. I don't know. How many Rockford history buffs are out there? But Veterans Memorial Hall... um, it's it on has, Main Street, right? It's, yeah, it's right kitty corner from Rockford Roasting Company. Mm-hmm. It's just down the block from the Coronado. It's like in the heart of downtown, across the street from where the new public library is being built or slash old public library is being demolished. Yes. I don't know what phase they're in in that think... these construction slash construction project. But yeah. the, the hall is an amazing place to go. Um, they hold all sorts of veterans-related and non-veteran-related events. Mm-hmm. Uh, it has a bit of a history in terms of paranormal activity, so they host paranormal events there, which is always fun. And then, of course, they have all of their stuff that's tied into just everything veteran. Yeah. So whether it's um, Memorial Day, Veterans Day, uh, and then even like you know Fourth of July, and they do an annual sinking of the ships. Um, yeah. 
which is kind of a cool thing that they do every single year. Yeah, typically they have more events going on throughout the year, but of course this year's a bit different. Yeah, it's, you know, the exception to the rule here with 2020 yeah. um, per par for the course, right, for this year. But it's still a great museum, it's a great institution, and it's like one of those things that really kind of sets Rockford apart because there's not a whole lot of, like, veterans' halls yeah. around the country, and Rockford is one of the few inside the state of Illinois. So. And especially one that has so much history tied to it, yeah. especially with Roosevelt coming through here. Yep. And all that. If you want an up-close and personal experience when it comes to, you know, veterans' types of activities and Midway Village Museum. Right? Yeah. They have their World War One and World War Two days, which are always super fun and super cool. I'm really hoping that they are able to come back. Uh, yeah, me too. This next year. Me too. Um, and, yeah, like, they have... Uh, like, all sorts of history and yeah. things to learn. Those are huge events over at Midway. They have their reenactors all dressed up in period gear, and it's just, they're huge events. Yeah. And they have such a cool venue for it, too, like, out there in the Victorian Village and whatnot. Yep. It's just super neat. And um, they're doing free weekend tours of the Victorian Village up until the end of November, November 22nd, I want to say. Yeah, which isn't directly veterans related, but it is still a fun fact and something that you can take advantage of here before the end of November. Yeah, and then in December, they're going to be opening up, well, they're, you can go inside now, but they're going to have more tours inside as well. And there you'll see more of like the history of the military and all that type of stuff that's inside of the museum as well. Yep. So that is a very neat place to check out. Many people think of Midway Village Museum as the village, and they forget that there's an entire museum inside the building. Right. So it's not it's just the historic village. But like we kind of take for granted living around here. Like a big one of those is like Rock Cut. Like we have this really cool big state park here in town. Right. But I feel like another one of those is Midway Village because. Like you said, people just think about the village. It's in their name, so that's probably <laughs> why that comes to people's Heavily minds. branded. Yeah, but then you walk inside and you have the nice gift shop, of course, with all the Rockford memorabilia. But then they have a massive museum in there. Right, they even have a tiny village inside. Yeah, it's like village-ception. Yeah, it's a village <laughs> inside of a village. It's a village inside of a building inside of a village. Precisely. Yes. Yeah, so that's a really cool place to visit and... The, it's just, I don't know, I can't recommend it enough, really. So There's also a helicopter not far from Midway Village Museum. Really? Yep. Where's it at? If you take, you know the walking path there by the museum? Yes. Right, that goes like right alongside Guilford. Mm -hmm. If you take that walking path west, uh, it will sneak through and it will bring you past the um, Vietnam War Memorial, which they have a Huey helicopter mm -hmm. um, there on display. Very neat. And like a wall, like a memorial wall, mm -hmm. and like it's it's like it's really cool. Can you go inside of the helicopter? No, I do not believe that you can. It's been a little while since I've been there, but I distinctly remember the helicopter because I'm an aviation geek. Yeah. So. Does the helicopter ever fly? Probably not at this point. I'm sure it did. Mm hmm What if it's like haunted and just takes off in the middle of the night? Like you go to visit it super late and you're like, where'd the helicopter go? <laughs> I have no idea. It would just be a ghost helicopter at that point. I talked about conspiracies last week. I feel like I just have to insert. You just got to keep inserting the other, the more conspiracies. Mm -hmm. Fun fact about helicopters is that the word, like, have you ever heard of a helicopter referred to as a chopper? Yes. Like Arnold Schwarzenegger, like, I did the chopper, right? Yeah, something like that. Something like that. That's my best <laughs> Arnold impersonation. If you can do better, please, like, leave a voice note in the comments. I would like to hear it. But uh, the nickname chopper actually comes from the... Huey, the helicopter that they use predominantly in Vietnam because the top rotor makes a chop, chop, chop sound. Oh, it's not because it chops people? Correct. If you it get is too not. close to it? I mean, it would if you did, but try not to. <laughs> it's generally a good rule of thumb. Have you ever flown in a helicopter? I have been in a helicopter before. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. It was like one of those state fair type things where they take you on a helicopter. Hey, right? you know what? Still in a helicopter. Still a helicopter. It's pretty terrifying, but I am <laughs> terrified of flying. So. That would make that experience a little tainted, yes. Yeah. Yeah. But you so. being an aviation nerd probably enjoyed it. I did very much so. <laughs> I've been in all sorts of air, aircraft being yeah. an aviation nerd. So. Yeah. And there are two, uh, two organizations here in Rockford that I talked about that I want to highlight, and that is the Circles of Change. Yeah. And the Veterans Drop-In Center. Yep. Both two very <clears throat> cool places. And also Vietnam. Vietnam, I haven't heard of that one. Vietnam before. is a veteran support group that was founded in Rockford and mm -hmm. is now a national organization. So That is very cool. Yeah, and the headquarters, like the national 
headquarters for Vietnam is still located in Rockford, I believe, on Broadway. That's amazing. Yeah. Not too far from Toad Hall. <laughs> there you go. Fun you fact. Know where Toad Hall you know where Toad Hall is, and you know where Vietnam is. Yeah. So Circles of Change, um, it's all about providing veterans with dogs, and it's a free service for veterans. Yep. So they're a nonprofit, and I think that's just really cool because... Well, it's not... It's It's using dogs as therapy for PTSD. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, to clarify. I should clarify that. It's not just like, <laughs> hey, I want a pet. <laughs> right, like, here, have a puppy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so that's really cool because, um, I don't know, having a pet and having that type of companion is really important and can really be therapeutic. Yeah. So they don't have service dogs, but they do use them as therapy. Correct. So there's that little distinction there and then the drop-in center is a place where veterans can go and they have a whole bunch of things you can go it's it might be a little different this year because of covid but um you can go and interact with other people they have meal times they have like a rec room type thing um it's just a place where if you need services like that you can go and get them there or if you just want to hang out it's a great place for that as well and there is a virtual 5k coming up this week that benefits these places so you can check that out online i'll put a link in the descriptions and all of that for you to check out as well super fun super cool yeah and i i feel like we couldn't get through this week without mentioning veterans day of course because our podcast just happens to drop on a wednesday and veterans day this year is on a wednesday right yeah and i feel like they're a group that sometimes just often gets overlooked somehow, even though we have people that are always like support our troops and all of that, but veterans deserve a lot of credit because they've put their lives on the line for the safety of us and our country and all that. Right. So it's important to highlight them and thank them. And we have these very wonderful organizations here in town that work towards doing so. And of course, we all know that more work needs to go into that. And so these places are mostly nonprofits. They take donations. If you are able to, please reach out and donate either your time or monetarily, whichever way you can. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. They need our help. They do. Like so many good causes here in Rockford. Mm-hmm. So. Do you have any veterans in your family? I. Yeah, I do actually. Like on my mom's side, my cousin Very cool. served in the army Very for cool. a while. I think that's about it, actually. Like my family is not like military Mm -hmm. family like we don't really have a history with that my uh great uncle sam and great aunt barbara um who both passed away Mm -hmm. right but they both served in world war ii they were medics in world war ii and fun fact i actually have a telescope that was my great uncle sam's that he found um on the back of a german truck during his deployment in world war ii that is super neat and so yep and so he brought it, somehow got it home and, like, restored the telescope to functioning order and built a stand for it in his wood shop. And it currently sits in my bedroom just on the other side of that wall right there. Just, like, what? Just, like, right, right over there. Right over yonder. <laughs> yeah, one of my uncles is also a veteran and a few of my grandfathers on my dad's side also served in the Army. Yeah. Yeah. So I think, like, I mean, you don't really, I think it's true for most people. This is just me making a wild assumption, so I could be totally off base here. I don't know, like me making wild (laughs) off base assumptions, never. But I think most people don't have to go too many degrees of separation in Mm -hmm. terms of their family before they find somebody that has served in the military in in some form or capacity. And I just know like a lot of people just locally that have served, right? Like, absolutely. Yeah. And now they're, you know, business owners or friends and members of the community and, you know, doing what they can to continue to serve their country, right? Right. So So today on Veterans Day, if you're watching this the day it drops, make sure to virtually hug a veteran today. Don't actually <laughs> hug them because Don't actually hug them. <laughs> because COVID. But definitely reach out and give them a virtual hug. Since you are a, a history buff and all that, do you have a favorite war story or time in history that you enjoy the most? I mean, like, I grew up watching a lot of, like, History Channel and Discovery Channel and Mm -hmm. TLC back when they wasn't, like, (laughs) reality television, you know, when they actually had educational programming. Back when it was actually the Learning Channel. Yeah, and it was actually the History Channel, and it wasn't just, like, the Aliens guy. Uh, And a lot of those were very World War Mm II-centric. So, um, so, like, that's just always, you know, interesting. I, I don't know. I mean, like... It's also, 
I guess, simplistic in its morals, right? Mm-hmm. It's like, these guys, good. These guys, bad, yeah. right? Fight the Nazis. Uh, where, <laughs> I mean, you know, Vietnam and, mm-hmm. right, it's, you know, some more recent, um, or just get gray, right? And yeah. unfortunately, the our country wasn't always there to back our veterans for a lot of those, mm-hmm. you know, and it wasn't their fault. Like, I think my dad was just a few numbers shy of being drafted. Really? Because they gave numbers out, you know, they gave you your number and mm-hmm. then they just drew like one through 100, uh, wow. you know, 101 through 200. Like mm-hmm. when they did a draft call, they just drew it in numerical order. And yeah, my dad was like just a few numbers short of being drafted. Wow. So, you know, for, the, you know, there's been some times where it's like, Right, it gets like really, really gray. Yeah. Uh, but in terms of my, just me personally, like World War II history is is always interesting. The technological feats around aviation and you know tanks and mm-hmm. a lot of what we consider to be modern warfare stemmed from that. Uh, and then just even just like Hitler and um, Eisenhower and like the the leaders on both sides and just their personal stories and yeah, so. World War Two has always been interesting to me as well. I don't really know why. I can't go into the specifics of it, but it's just always one of those things that's kind of, like, scratched at my brain. Like, this is super interesting. I like to read a lot of historical fiction books from that time. Mm-hmm. Um, and this is more regional, not local, but the Museum of Science and Industry, they have a lot of displays that are kind of around World War Two, And there's the Holocaust Museum in... It's in a suburb of Chicago. Oh, which one is it? I can't think of it right now. I'll link to that too, of course. But, um, <laughs> I'll link to that. We'll reference that after yeah. we start recording. <laughs> exactly. But that's super neat. You have to take like a whole day to actually experience all of that. But um, yeah, and that has a lot of local ties, really. So it's super interesting to me. I would highly suggest checking out all of our museums here and then regionally branching out towards the Chicagoland area as well because there's just so many of them and it's it's really important to dive into history and see where some of our policies like today and where we are as a country and a world like where all of those came from and that all stems back to these people who put their lives on the line to help fight for our country and fight for the safety of people abroad. Right. Like Camp Grant just here locally was, you know, World War One, I, I mm-hmm. believe. And so, uh, and that has done a lot to shape the landscape of our city. Exactly. You know, and, uh, and just the people that it brought into the community and the actual physical landscape of it being on the river. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, and it's just kind of, it's just neat, mm-hmm. right? It's just like neat to learn the history of these things that have shaped like our city and our state and our country so broadly. Yeah, it seems like it should go without saying, but it often doesn't get said enough that a lot of where we are today is because of these women and men who fought for our country. Mm -hmm. And like (laughs) our whole country is built on their backs, really, the way it stands today. And so Veterans Day is really important to acknowledge those people and to reach out to those that you still have in your lives and just thank them for what they've done. Super important. Yep. And so that is why we are here today to thank you for all of that. And of course, to tell you about these great organizations we have here in Rockford. And again, they do take donations. So if you are able to donate your time or donate some money to them, it would go a long way towards helping the veterans that we have here in town and to the museums to help, um, help with the upkeep of keeping these exhibits open so people can go and learn all this wonderful local history, mostly. Yeah, Yeah. and not just, like, the exhibits, but, I mean, like, Veterans Memorial Hall, like, the ribbon was cut when Teddy Roosevelt was president. Yeah. Like, it's an old building. It is. It is. And so, you know, like, they need help just in the maintenance and restoration of the structure itself if Mm -hmm. we're going to keep these, you know, historical monuments alive and well. Yeah. Um, and, you know, there's the uh, the statue there downtown um, mm-hmm. of the soldiers, that um, bronze statue, copper. And, yeah, I mean, there's just, like, little memorials kind of sprinkled throughout. The Peace Plaza and all of these different places. Yep. And so kind of going on a little... 
tour. Yeah. And, you know, it's something to do with kids because it's, like, interesting to look at and gives you an opportunity to talk to them Mm -hmm. about, you know, the sacrifices that were made in order to provide them with, like, the lives that we have here. Exactly. Where we have our freedoms and we very much enjoy those freedoms. We do. In America. We do. We have... We have a lot to owe to these wonderful people who put their lives on the line for us. And that needs to be remembered. Mm-hmm. True story. Yeah. And going on that little tour, like, the weather's been pretty nice lately. So if you want to get that in before it starts getting cold. Sans the tornado that just rolled through. I mean, there was that. <laughs> <laughs> that came out of nowhere. If you don't count that today, it's been pretty nice lately. Like, my meeting right before this, it was like, hold on. It's like, I'm going to get up and, like, go to the bathroom real quick. And so, like, I head to the restroom and then, like, the lights start flickering. And I'm like, <laughs> that's weird. Like, yeah, maybe they're having, like, an electrical issue. And, like, I walk out and, like, the window is just like, <laughs> like. Yeah, straight. It was great. Hurricane. So maybe like don't go out when it's storming and there's a tornado watch, but you know. Yeah, no. When it's nice outside. <laughs> when it's nice outside. Otherwise, of course, you can wait until the spring and the summer. They're always going to be around as long as you help to maintain them. So, oh, jeez. <laughs> no pressure. Just saying. <laughs> Not saying, just saying. Not right? saying, just saying. <laughs> Yes, so thank you so much to all of our veterans out there. We do very appreciate you. Very appreciate you. We do really appreciate you very much. Yes. That's what I was trying to say. And thank you to all of our business sponsors and our backers, uh, people that make content like this possible. It's because of their support. We're able to highlight local organizations like Circle for Change, Vietnam, and the um, Veterans Drop-In Center, uh, just to name a few, Mm -hmm. Um, as well as like Midway Village Museum, Veterans Hall, and all the places that we talk about on our podcast and through the rest of our content. Yes. So and thank you so much. Since it, since it is November, what are you thankful for this week? Mm, I'm thankful for our veterans this week. Okay. Is that a cop-out answer? It is. <laughs> you just eye fluttered me hard yes. right there. <laughs> I didn't want to say it was a cop-out because, yes, it's valid, but it's kind of a cop-out answer. I mean, uh, like... Lee and I have been able to spend a lot of time together here lately, just like with work schedules and Mm -hmm. stuff and go on walks and and everything. And she is a lovely addition to my life. She's like the best thing come out of 2020. So Mm -hmm. I'm very, very thankful for that. I like it. Is that better? That is better. (laughs) Can I be thankful for both veterans and Leah? Yes. Okay. Yes, you can. (laughs) (laughs) Let's see. I am thankful for the veterans. You stole mine. <laughs> I am thankful for the veterans that um, that have fought for our country. And I am also thankful. I'm going to go very base level today and say I am very thankful for coffee. Mm. That's something to be thankful for. It is. It's not always the big things, right? Right. Sometimes, Sometimes it's, the, little it's things. the small things. Yeah. Sometimes it's the small things. Yeah. Like coffee or chocolate. Although coffee is kind of a big thing. <laughs> I mean, like coffee is a foundational pillar of our life, but... Mm. I will, I will build off of that base level thing. I will say I am thankful for our veterans, and I am thankful for all of our local coffee shops. There we go. That's a nice, that's a solid plug-in. Yes. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you all so much again for tuning in, and we will catch you all next week. Bye. Bye.